Okay, then question seven of this vectors, chapter 11, mixed exercise. What do we have? Some sort of triangle. Okay, so we've been told that AB is 3i plus 5j. Okay, and AC is 6i plus 3j. Uh, find BC. So we've got jink. Okay, and we've got ABC. So A is 3i plus 5j. So that's uh, AB, and this is AC. So if this must be equal to AC minus AB. So it's equal to 6i plus 3j minus 3i minus 5j, noting the two minus signs. Okay, so we end up with 3i and minus 2j. Angle BAC, angle BAC, angle BAC, so we want to know this angle here. Okay, various options that we can do at this, I think, if I was to take this here, I can find all of this. Now I'm going to find, and then I can find just that little bit in here, okay, and then when I take one away from the other, I will be there. So, angle BA, let's just call this something like D8 here. Okay, so the big angle um, BAD. Um, so this is going to be equal to BAD, angle BAD, take away angle CAD. An angle sign. Okay, and angle BAD is going to be the inverse tan of 5 over 3. Take away the inverse tan of this one, which is minus 2 over, uh, no it's not the 2, it's the uh, AC one, which is this one, the 6i, uh, so it's the 3 over 6, and when we put that into the calculator, we end up with inverse tan of 5 over 3, which is 59 degrees, take away the inverse tan of what would be one third again, um, no, it's not, it's a half, three over six. And when you take it away, you end up with 32.47 degrees. And now we want to know the area. So we can use a half a b sin c on this, sin c being what we just worked out, i.e. the angle a, so we need to know the actual size of this, so we need to do a half times the square root of 3 squared plus 5 squared times the square root of a c, which is 6 squared plus 3 squared times the sine of um, 
32.47. Okay. All of that into the calculator. Okay, 0.5 times square root. Uh, square root of 6 squared plus 3 squared um, times the sin of 32.47. And it gives us a final answer of 10.499. Did we have units on this? No, just units squared then units squared and I've done that I've truncated it um, I will do okay so question 7 is done now on to question 8 the resultant of a vector A and B is uh, the, revo the resultant of vector A so a is equal to 4i minus 3j, and b is equal to 2pi minus pj, okay, is parallel parallel to c which is equal to 2i minus 3j. Find the value of p. Okay, so the resultant is equal to a plus b, which is going to be 4i, 4 plus 2p, i, um, and minus 3 plus P, J. And that is parallel to the 2i minus 3, J. So, so we have the ratio between the 2 and the 3 is going to be equal to the ratio of the 4 plus 2p over 3p. Okay, so quickly multiply that out to give us 6p equals 12. Multiplying the other side, 3 times 4 is 12 plus 6p. Okay. Not 3p at all, is it? It's 3 plus p, which is why they look like they were going to cancel out, but they're not. Let's just change that around. It's that one that's going to change, isn't it? So 3 plus p will give us 6 plus 2p. And now as we bring 2p across here, we end up with 4p and minus 6. And so p is equal to minus 6 over 4. which is 3 over 2. We can then use this information to find the resultant of the vectors a, b. So we worked out what a plus b is up here. a plus b is this. So the resultant, the resultant r is equal to 4 plus 2 times minus 3 over 2 i minus... 3 minus 3 over 2 j um, minus 3 divided by 2 um, times 2 plus 4 is 1 so that's i and then 3 take away 3 divided by 2 is 3 divided by 
2, and it's obviously minus there, minus 3 over 2j. What was that? That was question 8. So now on to question 9. For each of the following vector units, find a unit vector in the same direction and the angle of the vector makes with i. Okay. So if we have question nine, a is equal to eight i plus fifteen j. Its magnitude is equal to the square root of eight squared plus 15 squared which is the square root of 8 squared plus 15 squared which is 17 and so the unit vector um, unit vector of a is going to be 8 divided by 17 i plus 15 divided by 17 j okay um, the what else did it want the angle the vector makes with i the angle that it makes with i is going across so we're just going to have 8 across 15 up so it's just going to be um, theta will equal the tan of minus 1 of the opposite which is 15 over 8 and the tan of minus 1 of that is 61.9 degrees to one decimal place Sorry. 